What's up everybody? I'm back at you again for another review. Uh, I've been away for a while, about three years, so if I'm a little stuttery on it, uh, just disregard that. But I'm going to try to do as best as I can. Today we are going to do a review on the awesome reactor starter kit. Here's the front. I'm at the back. Here's the front. It comes in this nice plastic case. You take the top off, here's your uh, full e -cig or mod ready to vape, ready to go. Um, you open up the back side, you open up the, you know, you take this little uh, thing off, you have your manuals for the battery, you have your manual for the tank, tells you all about it, and you have three different boxes. The one box has your USB charging cable, has your USB wall adapter. The other box has your coil, coil heads. And um, but some come with a uh, 0.5 ohm coil heads. One of them which is pre-installed into the reactor tank itself, which is awesome. Um, I'm gonna, right now I'm just going to do a review on the, uh, the react, reactor mod itself. I'm going to do the... Uh, another review on the tank right afterwards. I'm also going to do two other reviews on their juice, which comes in neat little boxes now, made by Nico, P Nico Pure Labs, um, which is just really awesome. I'll get to those reviews later. That's what's in this right now is the uh, high PG version of Tribeca. Um, Alright, now to get started, it's five clicks to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. And it's on. Alright. Well, right now, let's see here. Alright. We'll just get down to that because I had it locked so my uh, wattage or voltage will, can't be changed while it's in my pocket or in my hand. But you press the both down and up button at the same time, it'll lock. Your setting, press them again, up and down button, it'll unlock your setting. Right now, I have it on 50 watts. That's as high as this will go. It'll go from 6.6 .6 watts up to 50 watts. It also has a variable voltage mode too. We'll get to that here in a second. Alright, I'm going to take a quick vape at 50 watts to show you with this uh, higher PG juice. Just how powerful the sucker is. <laughs> Ooh, it's just awesome down the airflow the uh, every, everything is about it. I have a well broken coil too though You press the down button. You can see it goes pretty quick down I'll take it down to around 24 uh, Watts, let's give it another bait Awesome 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 flavor everything we'll get into the review of the reactor tank later uh, right now okay so say uh, you wanted to switch to variable uh, voltage mode you simply click the firing button three times one two three now we're in variable voltage mode all right it'll go from in the in the book that comes with it says it the uh, battery is capable of going from uh, uh, 1 to 10 volts, uh, the, and I already told you the wattage, but, um, right now it goes up to, yeah, 10 volts. It all depends on the coil head that you have in it. It'll, this mod will accept anything from 0 0.2 ohms all the way up to around probably 0 0.5 ohm. I mean, not 0 0.5, but, uh, 5 ohms, which most people do not vape at, I think. Around 3 ohms will be the highest I'd ever vape a coil at myself. But, um, I'm going to take it to around 4, well, say your standard e -cig is around 3.7 volts. It's fantastic. 
Uh, I really just don't fool around with variable voltage anymore. It's, it's kind of a thing of the past. Uh, I like variable wattage because you can dial in your flavor, dial in your vapor a lot better. All right, so three more clicks, one, two, three, and you're back into variable wattage mode. All right, and, and as I said, it'll go from 6.6 .6 to uh, 30 watts. Okay, on here you can see it has your battery indicator. It has your ohms indicator. Right now it's saying 0.7 ohms because it's a very, very broken coil head. Um, at first, when you start off with the coils, um, they'll come out sometimes 0.4 when they're brand new. When you vape on them for a while, it'll it'll rise from 0.4 to 0.5, 0.6, maxing out sometimes around 0.7. But no, it. it doesn't change much. It's just I'm a really hardcore vapor. I shoot. I go through a lot of a lot of eat liquid a day. Uh, but uh, right now, this this reactor mod itself is just awesome. There is nothing about it I do not like. I mean, solid stainless steel bottom, solid stainless steel top. You unscrew it. You got your spring loaded 510 connector. With your two air slots, say you wanted to use something that requires air from the bottom, you can use that on there. And um, gold plated 510 connection, by the way. Um, solid, solid, solid mod. I mean, it's just everything about it is awesome. When you turn the mod off, five clicks to turn it on and off. One, two, three, four, five. It's off. You uh, can hold up and down button, and you can rotate your screen 180 degrees. If you want it back the other way, you hold it down again. Rotate it 180 degrees. Just like that. I'm going to put the tank back on, take one more bait, and um, I think I covered, covered it all, really. Five more clicks, turn it back on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, that's because of the button. It takes a while for it to break in, or if you don't press it hard enough, it won't, uh, that's the, that's the only nitpick I have about this. If you don't press this firing button hard enough, it will misfire or it won't count the amount of clicks. You have to give the button pretty hard pressure for it to, uh, vape correctly. Alright, I'm going to put it on, as you can see, about 30 watts on a, see about, Ohms went back down to 0 0.6. You can see it all right there. It reads it. Your battery meter, your ohm meter, your voltage as you're in variable wattage mode as well. One more bait, but I'm out. The reactor mod is hands down 4,400. MEH or ma or milliamp per hour battery in this sucker. It'll last you quite some time. Uh, it takes a little while to charge, but it's not bad at all. Your charging port is right here up top. Everything about it is just nice. It's, it's solid. It's scratch resistant. It's just all around a very, very awesome mod for its price point. And uh, I know it looks like the E Leaf brand, but it's 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 not. It's better. It's better in my opinion. It is better. Everything Halo puts out is just awesome. I mean, Halo is uh, one of the best e-liquid and... Well, they used to be the best e-liquid manufacturer. Now they're the best. It's all around everything. Uh, they have they have everything that you want and need. Uh, I'd say go pick up a Halo shirt. I love those. I love those things. Um... Um, let's see here. Well, we'll get into the review of the tank and the juices later on. Thanks for watching this review. And as always, vape on, brothers. Vape on. And sisters. Can't forget the sisters. Love you all. Peace.